In this video, we're going to have a look at how you can join online lessons using Teams. Teams is also used at the moment for parents' evenings, and you can join meetings online in this way using this method as well. So there's two ways that you can join team, uh, Teams meetings. Um, the first is if your teachers have scheduled a online lesson with you, then any kind of online meeting will actually appear in your calendar. So if we go to Teams along the left-hand sidebar, and you click on your calendar, we can see here that there's a couple of meetings already in the calendar. So there's a lesson going on right now uh, that I can join straight from the calendar. Um, and there's a parents evening meeting down here, which again you can click on and join straight from your calendar. Um, so that's one way that you can join. Sometimes your teachers might start a lesson um, impromptu on the spot, so they may not necessarily schedule it. Um, in those cases, the other way that you can join your meetings online is by going to the team. So if we click on our teams, we can expand um, our teams and we can actually see that there's a meeting ongoing right now because of the camera sign. Um, but any, any meeting you'll see, there'll be a post for it in the post section of your team. So we can see that this lesson is ongoing right now um, and it's it's got a join button that we can join straight from here as well. So either way, if you clicked in through your calendar and clicked join there, or if we click join on our meeting here, then the next thing you'll be taken to is a pop-out where you need to decide whether or not you want to have your webcam on or not. Again, this is something that you can choose to do if you wish to, or if your teacher um, allows you to. And then you've got your microphone option, which um, we can join with the microphone on, but it's always a good habit if you can join with your microphone muted. So there is a little bit of etiquette um, that you should consider when you're joining meetings online. Uh, and the first thing is that you join with your, your microphone muted. So once we're ready, we can click join now um, and we'll actually be now inside as a participant of the meeting. Um, so if your teacher's got their camera on, you'll be able to see them. If they're sharing their screen, you'll be able to see that in this space here. But what I want to talk to you about is the options that you have available to you in a meeting. So there will be a bar. Um, this is the Windows version of Teams, um, which is the one that you'll, you should have if you're using a school device. Um, otherwise, if you're joining via the web or if you've got a Mac, you may find that this bar looks similar, but it may be located in a different place. So going across the options, um, show participants will show you everyone in the meeting um, and you can see if they are muted or not from there. Um, the show conversation button, the little chat bubble, is somewhere where you can type your messages um, to your teacher or if your teacher asks you to ask any questions, uh, you can do this in the chat whilst your teacher is talking. Um, a really useful feature that's very helpful for your teachers, they may ask you to raise your hand in the meeting. And when you do that, you will see that in our participants list, there'll be a little hands up icon next to your name. Um, this is really helpful for your teacher because they can see if you need any help. Or they might ask you to put your hand up. And again, you have to click that to lower your hand. Um, these are the two important icons on the side here for um, turning on your camera or not, or if you want to mute or unmute your microphone, uh, you would do that using the button here. Uh, and this option to share content is something that you may have or may not have access to, depending on what your teachers want you to do. But if you, sometimes your teacher might ask you to share your screen with them. Uh, this is the button that you're looking for, the, the share content button. And when you click on that, you will see that there's some options um, and you can choose whether you want to share just one of the screens on your computer or if you want to share your whole desktop, uh, which, will, which will let you switch between programs. Um, so if you want to do that, that option is there. If you've got any problems with your microphone or your camera, uh, you want to hit the three dots with the more actions and you want to go to device settings um, and here you can choose which speakers and which microphone device to use on your computer. 
Additionally, in the More Actions button with the three dots, aside from changing your device settings, um, you have a couple of other useful options. Uh, you can apply background effects, so if you are using your camera, you can blur your background or add a virtual background from here. Um, and the other really useful feature is to turn on live captions. Now, when you do this, anyone that is speaking in the meeting has their voice transcripted. So this can be useful for following what is going on in your lesson um, and reading back uh, anything that your teacher has said. That covers most of the features of meetings. Um, when you finish, you can hang up with the big red button. Teachers may um, also have recorded the lesson. So in those situations, if you go back to your team, um, where the post was made for the meeting where you joined it, at the bottom of this chat, when the lesson is over, there'll be a link to download the recording from there, and then you can watch that back.